What is up everyone? It's Dumb Ocean Derby for Life. I'm here on a very mild, hot summer day. Uh, we're gonna do an aftermath video of the uh, one of the uh, Team Show of Vans guys and uh, an aftermath of my, uh, I guess, Ninja Turtle car or it was like a Buick or I don't remember exactly what it was. But, uh, so the van I just ran in Hutchinson and the Ninja Turtle car is actually, it's ran twice now. Um, uh, or, uh, since the first aftermath, it's ran two more times. So it's got three runs on it right now. I, I haven't decided if it's going to have a fourth or not, but, uh, right now I'm thinking it's, might be just throw it together quick and run it one more time but you guys ready to see well here's the van guys uh i have decided that this van is done uh you guys may say well it looks very straight yet looks like it doesn't have any issues it's got a lot of issues guys uh, for one, both rear leaf springs have broken. Uh, that's why this tire is sitting so far forward. Uh, so both of those leaf springs have broken. I'm not going to fix it. it uh, just There's no point. I don't really see any uh, point in doing it, I guess. Um, another thing that also is broken is the C uh, one of the CV shafts went. And frankly... I really don't want to fix it. I really don't. And another big major thing is the motor is locking up. Um, so I can get it to start and run if I can get it past that point where it locks up at. Um, so basically it'll turn, 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 and then click, and then it'll hit that spot and, you know, and it won't start again. And then you got to break it past that spot. But once you get it started, it stays running. And it doesn't really sound like there's a like a like a knock or anything. So I don't know. I think it's a lifter or just something's bent inside internally. And I don't really want to fix it. And plus, this front frame is junk. And there's only <laughs> yeah, there's a lot wrong. Um, I might be. I don't remember if I cut the nine wire or not. But yeah, we'll take a look up front. Quite a few dings and dents and all the other fun stuff all the nine wires holding uh that was done with a loader uh, after the first run or after the scott county fair run they went through the back picked it up and it just bent but i don't really care about that that's fine the back end is coming in really nice uh the rear bumper kind of it's twisted downwards and now that side broke loose this side pretty much is going to fall off but that's fine you can kind of see the the floor right there is kicked down and then the back is starting to come up but realistically the back end is still pretty stout other than the leaf springs breaking and both sides did break and you can kind of faintly see back here see how it's kind of angled where it's kicked downwards it should be straight but you know the leaf spring the leaf spring is broke here yeah you can really see that's that's all kinds of screwed up <laughs> it might not be broken actually but i think it is a couple little door dings on on this side uh, both uh, struts are slightly bent um, not really worth saving might be worth saving actually oh well, that side I'm gonna try to save because it was an aftermarket strut and it's basically brand new so I'm gonna see if I can get it to bend back straight and then I'm gonna try plating the strut I'm gonna try the same thing on this side just make it a little bit stronger but but, um, yeah, this thing is, uh, and you can see that how bent that is, but I did lose a CV shaft. I think it was the driver's side. 
Um, that is currently in my only motor mount other than that strand of nine wire and that strand of nine wire. Those three are the only thing holding this motor up and where it is currently at. Um, it's pretty, pretty well, uh, I think pooched. I'm considering how bad this, these frame rails are. Uh, see if we can get an internal look. That's the plate. So you can see there's the bend there. Bend there. Yeah, it's all kind of jig jagged and whatnot. Um, this bumper, I think, is done. I don't really think it's going to be worth pulling with how it, it, it veed in the middle. Like, that's something I didn't expect. But it sure did veed right right in the middle but yeah this van still does run but i just with with how bad the motor is i'm just gonna let it go i don't really see any point in uh, saving it i'll pull the cage battery box battery cables all the fuel line everything all the fun stuff and and yeah so this thing is going to be on the chopping block. I got one more uh, hiding in my shop. So, so uh, this thing is, uh, it's had the team show heat and feature, a Scott County Fair run, and then the Hutchinson run. And for as beat up and everything as it is, I mean, it's still in really good shape, but I'm not, not going to fix it. I got another one that I can, I have a pre ran to finish off. So I figured with the motor being how it is, cut it up, stuff it full, get it out of here. But I mean, with uh, how scrap is right now, I'm just going to hold on to it until scrap goes up and then it'll get hauled in. Or if some unforeseen uh, <laughs> uh, issue happens, or not issue, but there's something I have in the works. Don't know for sure yet if it's going to happen or not, but you guys will find out in the future if it does. But yeah, so if that does happen, a lot of stuff is going to be getting out of here and making, uh, not really making room, but just downsizing, I guess, would be the best way to put it. But here is the car, guys. Yeah, she's uh she's a little used and abused. Uh it this currently has three runs on it. I ran it in Jordan, had bad luck, broke an axle right away, and there I sat. And then I brought it to Meeker County Fair where I got destroyed. <laughs> it was still a blast though. But yeah, I got destroyed. This car got really, really hurt, um, like really bad. And I was actually going to junk it. And I guess I kind of just got motivated enough to try to fix it and run it again. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I kind of got another short run out of it. Um, after I fixed it, I... Basically, how you see it right now is how it came off the track in Meeker. So I the third run was in Hutchinson, which where that thing ran. But yeah, this thing is uh, it's a pile, and I I'm a little disappointed how the run with this went. I was intending to kill it, but. Uh, a front wheel drive car got a lucky shot and took my uh, broke another axle same side too so that's how it goes though uh, it was a good shot he got me I should have turned into him instead of turning out and he just smoked my just got a good clip on my tire and it went snap and I was done couldn't get it to go anywhere because the whole rear frame was on the ground and but yeah that's how it goes but yeah, this car is very used and abused. I don't even know if I want to run this thing one more time. 
I might try to fix it, throw another axle back into it and just see how it goes. But right now I'm more priori pr prioritizing on fixing my van and building two more derby cars, guys. I've had so many cars built this year. It's not even funny. But we'll see what happens if I end up deciding not to run it. I more than likely will cut this thing up and just go on to the next one. But yeah, this whole front frame here is straight. It is starting to buckle down here. So I'm more than likely just going to, if I do run this one again, I will pull this front end back down. Can't really plate much. So I'll just pull it back down the best I can and then throw an axle into it and just hoorah it. But there is one show that would be coming up, not for a few weeks, but just try running it there. Full send it right into the right, right nose out and see if I can break something. But we'll see. But yeah, this whole back end is gone everything got packed in nice and tight um this rear shock broke during the Mika run this whole frame rail was technically when it hit when it was bent before i basically had like that much clearance off the trailer with the tire on with how bad it was bent there was like that much clearance off of it but yeah you can really see it. like i've haven't really had any break like that like they always break up and in this is a kind of a new one for me breaking right off on the end there but yeah that's how it goes though i don't know this thing is pretty well pooched i don't do I do it? Do I don't do it? Oh, I can't decide. I mean, I, I'm not going ass out. Oh, here's something else that I... After trying that little bumper deal, putting a uh, compact bumper on the back, the compact bumper v like they normally do, and it sucked both the frame rails together. And honestly, I think that looks really damn good, actually. Like, it worked out perfect. Like with that V-ing, it V'd everything together. Um, I wish it would have packed, like everything kind of went up though. So I kind of want to try to make it so when it V's in, it just kind of keeps everything together. So I got to figure something out with the trunk lid, but I really like how that V'd. That did work out really well. I mean, everything's away from the tires. I mean, look at that. That's that's just awesome how that went but let's see if we can replicate it on the next one but i mean this side here is i mean it's this side looks really really good yet it's just the other side's all beat the beat the crap i don't know do i do it why not just one more one more little run one more little hoorah we'll see we'll see but I gotta find another tire like this. I like these. They're nice and narrow, tall, and sh they're a little tall, not super tall though, and they sit really well. I don't know if I have, I thought I had another one. Let's see if they're hiding in my tire rack somewhere. Oh, it might be right on the end there. I think that's where it is. But yeah, I mean, the, these, this frame is still straight and it's just starting to go underneath there. I think what I'm going to do is fix it and run it one more time. But there you go, guys. There's a little look at uh, of the uh, van and the car. I'm really sorry. I haven't really been keeping up on videos, guys. I'm starting to slow down on it. I'm probably not going to be doing much me doing videos anymore. But... Um, I'm going to have someone else kind of take over and they are going to be 
doing more of the videos i will do the occasional like updates and stuff and then they will post it up and whatnot and they'll be doing more recording of shows and stuff like that so but for me i'm not gonna do any of that i like this year i've been way too busy i can't keep up with doing youtube and this for as much as i've done this year it's really hard to keep up on updates and stuff so but there you go guys there's a little look at the uh of the cars i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys um like this content uh if you do leave a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe i'll catch you guys all in the next video